And look what I just washed. The annual Christmas cup. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another vlog. I'm trying to get some good light. Ooh. Too much too much light <laughs> hope you guys are having a great day starting off another vlog I showered and let my hair air dry this is my natural texture just like not wavy not straight just a whole bunch of whole bunch of nothing <laughs> thank you for all the love on the hair thanks so much to everyone else who said it looked terrible and won't hide my double chins <laughs> i don't care about the double chins so good morning yars running i'm gonna get ready for the day i Usually hate daylight savings time just because it's dark at four o'clock, but I'm honestly loving it just because we went to bed last night at 9.30 and woke up at 6.30 and it's only 8.30 and I feel like I've already done so much today. And look what I just washed, the annual Christmas cup. I think I got this two years ago on Etsy, this gorgeous cup which my beverages will be going in. Also, what do we think? I added the beads and I don't hate this. What do we think? Of course, we'll have to wait and see. Sorry, my floor is very squeaky, <laughs> um, but we'll have to wait and see what we find at the store as well. But I kind of like this random little centerpiece moment. So anyway, uh, I'm gonna get ready, do a little hair and makeup moment just to feel good. Um, and I'm gonna be doing my cousin's hair today. So I thought I would take you along um my cousin Greta I always do her hair you guys know so I need to go to Sally's get the hair dye and then we're doing it at my grandma's house so let's go Okay, makeup is on. I thought I would do a quick little hair tutorial. When I did my waves in the last vlog, everyone was asking me to show how I style my hair. So I am currently heating up my wand. I'd say this is about an inch barrel. And I'm gonna go ahead and throw in a little bit of this Halange heat shield. It feels so healthy now that it's like cut off. <laughs> oh, I just sprayed my eye, Jesus. So I wanna make sure I'm keeping it protected. Also, wet brush the best if you have thick hair. Like I was at my grandma's house the other day and I just briefly used her um, like normal paddle brush and I was like, oh, like it's no joke. These, I can't, you can't go back after you switch to a wet brush. So as you can see, this is my natural hair texture. Like it's almost straight. I mean, look at the shine. It feels so healthy. It's so exciting. So I'm just letting my curling wand heat up, but the products I'm gonna be using today, I'm gonna to show you two options. For hairspray, I have um, like a drugstore kind of dupe. Um, the Paul Mitchell Soft Style Super Clean Light is amazing if you like a little bit of hold, um, but it's like, you can still run your fingers through it. It's not gonna be like crunchy or hard. It's just a really nice kind of natural hold. So this is one of my favorite hairsprays. And then this is also one of my favorite hairsprays, Garnier Fructis Flexible Hold 24 Hour Anti-Humidity. Um, on a scale of one to five, it has a number two for hold. 
I'd say this one has like a teeny bit more hold than this one. So it depends. Do you want it to be very soft? You can brush it out or do you want like a little more hold? But these are both great, great hairsprays. And then I just use a little bonding oil from Olaplex on the ends. So the great thing is with my hair being this short, I don't have to style the whole head. Like I pretty much can just get away with doing the top layer um, because, you know, the bottom is so short, you don't need to curl it. So I take about one inch sections, maybe a little less. And I just take my wand, hold it down, go about three inches down, wrap twice, and then I hold out the bottom, like a two inch bottom, and release. So it's gonna look like that. <laughs> I gotta pull it after too, just to make it even looser. Like with these, when I had my long hair, I would let my curls like cool, so they would set and really hold. But with my short hair, I kind of even just floof it right away. Um, just because I want more of a wave or a bend in the hair rather than like a curl curl. Repeat the process. I'm a little closer to the root um, with the rest of the hair. In the front, I like to do it a little lower, if that makes sense. But I leave out the two inches at the bottom. And I'm going to continue this with the top layer of my hair. And I curl away from my face on both sides. It's really simple. I'm telling you guys, this takes me like five minutes or less once it's heated up. Like you don't, you don't need to do that underneath because you're also gonna be softening it to more of a wave. Like you can't tell the bottom is straight. If anything, I'll do like a little bit of a bend with the front underneath just in case that gets seen. I'll link this uh, hair wand hair, I think. Yeah, this is also from Lange. I bought these at the same time. But since my hair has like a pretty straight texture to it, you know, I the bottom underneath layers being straight is actually kind of good because I like the ends straight and that's the only part you can really see. And that's what gives it more of like a beachy wave look versus like curl curl. So yeah, it's pretty straightforward. It's super simple. You know, I feel kind of bad people asking for tutorials, but like it's really, really super easy. The biggest pro tip I can say is to leave hair out at the bottom. So yeah, I'm gonna finish this side and I'll show you. I do the exact same thing over here, just curling away from my face. I'm gonna finish my hair and then I'll show you what I do after. All right, now that the curls are done on each side, I've kind of just run my fingers through to soften them. I will say too, if you have any hairs that are like curling under or curling out, you can always take a flat iron on the bottom and it really does help just to kind of, I don't know, it just, it just looks better <laughs> if you have like the ends more straight. And then I'm just gonna do a light bit of hairspray. I'm not gonna bother using the bonding oil today. I usually use that as my hair gets more dirty, <laughs> like it's freshly clean right now um, and it has a really nice amount of shine to it. But as my hair gets more dull over the next few days, I use dry shampoo on the root and then a little bit of oil on the ends and it totally <laughs> refreshes the hair, but it is super, 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 super simple. So um, hopefully, if you guys have short hair, I know a lot of you guys said this inspired you to cut your hair. I say go for it. I know so many people have told me in the past that like they're afraid to cut their hair because you know they don't want to show their round face or their chins or it's just like they can kind of hide behind their hair. But if you want to cut your hair, cut your hair. This is your sign to cut your hair. I'm all about it. Um, I think short hair looks so beautiful on everyone, so. Hopefully this little tutorial helped a little bit, but now we're gonna head to Sally's to get the hair dye. All right, got the hair dye. Max is visiting and he likes to play with the kitty toy. Greta's hair is almost done. <laughs> okay, you guys, I got dye on my shirt. 
it's okay. It's all right. I think this shirt was like $5 at Target. Um, I finished her hair. It took a while. I was at my grandma's house for four hours and now I'm just swinging by Whole Foods to get a couple groceries and I'm gonna go home and that's about it. <laughs> that's the tea. I don't know why I just totally didn't vlog much <laughs> when I was at my grandma's house. I was kind of just enjoying the family talks you know what I mean but tonight I'm gonna make the um, cauliflower mac and cheese again but Yara is not a buffalo fan so I might just make it with just like plain chicken instead of buffalo chicken and then like if he wants to put some like barbecue sauce on his I could put buffalo on mine you know you get the best of both worlds I love when people don't use their blinker till the last second all right, y'all, see you at home. All right, so I didn't get too much, just a little bit. So we love Lily's. Like, these are so good. We also have, like, this chocolate-covered popcorn, um, but I've never had the dark chocolate almonds, so that's exciting. Got some bananas, avocados, ground turkey. And for dinner, I, we haven't decided yet if we're going to do a cauliflower crust pizza or cauliflower mac and cheese, so... Um, clearly on a cauliflower kick. Uh, let's see how these are. I'm not sure. We got our cauliflower, cheese, yerba, and blue cheese. Let's try these. I feel like these kind of snacks are like super hit or miss. Had to sniff it. It's literally like freeze dried cauliflower. It's pretty much just cauliflower, safflower oil like a bunch of uh seasoning it's not bad i give it a solid seven out of ten maybe seven and a half also guys i must say first time having this flavor of crystallite so so good it's like the prettiest bluish purple <laughs> but i love this hello y'all it's the next day i went and got a manicure matched my toes and I filmed a shop with me for holiday decor at Walmart and Target. So that video should already be up when this vlog is up, but I'm gonna go ahead and decorate with the items I got. So I thought I could vlog that for you. So here are the pillows you guys saw me get. If you haven't watched that video yet, definitely recommend watching that first. All right, so here are the holiday pillows that I got at Target. Nice little kind of plaid, same tone of orangey red in the pillows. And they've got some gold threading. And they're really soft and cozy. Here was the stuff I got from my office, which we will put up there. I'm still swooning over these little houses. Let me turn one on. Look how cute they are with the light on inside. Oh my God, adorable. Best $10 ever. So there's all the office stuff. I got this pillow and this pillow from Hearth and Hand for our mudroom. Same tone of green. Okay, so these go out here in our mudroom. I put up this sign up here from last year. And so far, this is all I have on our like shoe holder here. This little tree, candle, and this faux plant. Okay, so I've got these gold angels. So I'm basically deciding how I wanna decorate that last console in our living room. I just couldn't resist this little guy. He's so cute, so cute. Got some hot cocoa. Oh, I'm just, I don't know why. I just adore that tree. And I definitely wanna pair these two together. I like the red and the green. This was in a great Walmart find. Reminded me of a hearth and hand little moment. And then I'm gonna put these on this window with that garland. And I'm thinking I can also put this, um, on there as well and this will go in my office and this i don't know where it's gonna go yet maybe in the kitchen in the galley okay so here's the update as you saw i put the pillows i'm going with a bit more red and green this year than like my typical gold which is you know kind of a nice surprise i'm going with like red green white and black so this is how i ended up doing this console table so these are from last year, dollar section, got these today, dollar section last year, my mom's painting. I put this down here and I think it looks really cute. 
And then out here, I moved this because that was in the way out there. And then I have this cute little cluster here. Pillows here. And then up here, I put these three little angels and this um, from last year as well. Full disclosure, this could change. I move stuff around a lot. You guys, I added the twinkly lights to our little breakfast, no, not breakfast nook, but our little nook in the kitchen. So we got our pillows, still got the garland, and I didn't know these were gonna like twinkle this <laughs> excessively. <laughs> like it said a subtle, I thought it said a subtle dazzle. I don't know, but it's still fun nonetheless. And now I'm just setting up a cute little filming corner for the holiday season in my office. So up here, I put one of the houses and the two trees, the Be Merry banner. I've got my gold pillow, my little tree. I might put this on the floor, but like for filming outfits and stuff during the holidays or sit down videos, I think it's gonna be really cute here. Okay, so here's my little Christmas corner, all set. You know, it's nothing like crazy, but I think it's really cute <laughs> with the pinks, nudes, whites, gold. I love it. Got my uh, crystal light <laughs> in my Merry and Bright cup. I'm gonna edit this vlog. Lots more content coming soon. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Again, if you did not see the shop with me portion, um, separate video, I guess, <laughs> that is already up. Go check it out. I also already have other Christmas videos if you wanna get in the spirit. There's a playlist, I'll link it below. I love you guys and I'll see you very soon. Bye.